tests confirm Phoenician beads in the Philippines. Phoenicians were a confederation of maritime traders from around 1500 BC to 300 BC, with homeland port cities in the eastern Mediterranean. The Phoenicians established colonies as ports of trade along the entire Mediterranean, linking the continents of Europe, Africa, and Central Asia. They were called Phoenicians by the Greeks, but the Hebrews knew them as the Canaanites. Most known for the alphabetic writing system for which the Western alphabet was developed, Phoenicians actually had many advanced technologies to captivate the distant lands they traded with. Famous for the purple dyes, skilled in crafting textiles and metals, and for the magical production of ancient glass. Each color of glass had a specific recipe and process. Glassmaking was both a science and a divine practice that included ritual sacrifices and acts of worship. Phoenician glass was seen to possess both material and mystical value. By the middle of the second millennium BC, Phoenicians had developed a core-formed fused glass method that enabled them to create designs of colored glass on a central glass core formed over a clay core. Using small pots of molten glass of various colors, a central glass form was first made around a clay core on a metal rod. Once the entire form was created, they would then wind trails of a glass of a different color around the vessel, pulling the new trails when they were still soft to create zigzag or feather-edged patterns. Alternatively, they might put spots of different color of glass on the base glass and heat the hole to let surface tension make the spots rounder. Repeated layering using this technique would result in a concentric circle, eye-type design. Once the design was complete, the glassmaker would let the piece cool slowly and remove the central clay core and the metal rod. Ancient glass workers thus used great ingenuity to apply motifs to glass, a technically challenging process. Dr. Otley Beyer, who has been called the Dean of Philippine Ethnology, Archaeology, and Prehistory, reported that in Luzon sites where he found ancient nephrite jade artifacts, these were occasionally accompanied by certain very rare beads of ancient glass, date probably between 800 and 500 BC, in the Philippines, although possibly earlier. Otley Beyer noted that in two or three sections of the Batangas culture area, individual beads of ancient glass have turned up under circumstances that clearly indicate their being contemporary with the jade beads and other artifacts of the third and fourth phases of the late Neolithic horizon there. The beads themselves are neither strange nor unique, since they belong to a certain rare but well-known type, usually called Greek or Roman, which has recently been made the subject of a number of important studies by able European and Oriental scholars in connection with their appearance in widely scattered archaeological sites. On the Philippine Islands, these glass beads that are notably rare around the world are quite abundant. The locals who found the Neolithic black jade statues in the Visayas also reported finding ancient glass beads along with them. In Mindanao, numerous Phoenician-type beads are found by the locals along with the Phoenician core-formed fused glass faces, some of which were still worn as a sacred symbol of tribal identity. The video Mystery Bird Bead analyzed the motif and core-formed production method of the bird bead found in the Philippines and linked them to the Phoenicians. A team of scientists and scholars will present their findings at ICG Annual Meeting 2021 in Korea, in the Symposium on Archaeometry of Glasses, 
entitled Morphology and Composition of Core Formed Fused Phoenician Glass Beads in the Philippines. Scanning electron microscopy and X-ray dispersive spectroscopy was used to characterize the composition of the bird bead. Fourier Transform Infrared Spectroscopy, FTIR, was also used. Their findings led them to the conclusion that this specific type of glass may be traded along the Mediterranean coastline by the Phoenicians and other traders. Aside from the mystery bird bead scientific tests done on several other types of core-formed fused glass beads found in the Philippines, identified them as the same type traded by the Phoenicians along the Mediterranean ports. Among them were a mosaic bead with chevrons and a bead with trailed patterns of colored glass. Phoenicians of the first millennium BC produced a distinctive type of soda lime glass. In this early period, the natron content of the glass was 22% or greater, with low soda and magnesia. This type of Phoenician glass traded in the western Mediterranean had been found archaeologically in several Zhou dynasty tombs. Scientific analysis had further confirmed the identity of the glass, not only the main composition, but also the low manganese cobalt ore used in the blue areas and the 7.5% highly oxidized antimony content of the opaque white areas are characteristic of Western glass manufacture. Ancient core formed fused glass beads are notably abundant in the Philippines and have been documented in archaeological sites revealing that these beads had been present alongside our prehistoric ancestors and did not arrive on our islands at a later date. These beads were a form of international currency. What were they buying in the Philippines? Phoenician historian Sancho Nyathon recorded a joint maritime trading venture with the Phoenician king of Tyre and King Solomon of Israel to the lands of Tarshish and Ophir, the lands of gold. Could the Phoenician glass beads left behind by our ancestors help us in stringing together the story of our past? To learn more, read Phoenicians in the Lands of Gold, available for free at bit.ly slash jgcbooks.